So yesterday we uh, opened our box, we unboxed our technology, our equipment from Data Farms, and today we're going to do our best job to install it given the directions that we've got from Data Farms and uh, try and pick the best location here for this one for systems for the uh, temperature of the greenhouse. So I'm thinking a central location, um, close to the can plant canopy, but I do not want it too much below the plant canopy as I do around the general area of the plant canopy. So I'm going to move some troughs out of the way. Uh, cool trick. So this little trick that I learned goes to Wayne Chalmers. It's a way to get rid of the water and a set of channels in an area where you can't necessarily just double them up. And uh, that's something that he taught me a long time ago, so I'm gonna show you guys now. And just like that, we jumped it. And now you can remove these three to get to the back. Now that we made a clear path to the back, we're gonna get a little piece of wood set up. I'm show you. Made a little plate to the back now. my thought process now just for so temporarily and it's literally right there so I'm going to put a stick right here now extend this out a little bit further and have a face up I got a feeling I'm going to change that seven times yet so we'll just do it temporary I probably won't poke any of this back up because I'll be in there again for sure now I got that temporarily set up I'm going to take this octopus commercial technology down to the pump house, which is literally good. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's going to be fun. Now that it's plugged in, to go on the website and hook up the Wi-Fi. So I'll do that. Now that I've finished installing the uh, software, I'm trying to set this up a little bit easier. I'm going to be using zip ties for now because they're easy to remove and another big thing is finding out with these Some of the things you might need when ordering yours is to give the team at Data Farm a good, uh, good ballpark estimate on how long you need your probes to be. my mind from drilling a hole to cutting a hole because the system is running. I don't want any uh, plastic in the water. I'm going to cut one nice hole out so that way I can grab a hole of a piece and just make sure it doesn't hurt. That way we don't lose anything down in the tank. And let's see if hopefully it's big enough.
probes, that's what I'm going to call them, probes are in the water. <laughs> I feel like I got a lot on this one. <laughs> uh, probes are in the water. System set up in the greenhouse. System set up in the pump house. Um, wi Fi is connected to both units. I was going to wait for that great customer service. I know we won't be waiting long considering I woke up early to get started. So. <laughs> but he'll, he'll get us a call now. Beautiful. Probes are in the water temporarily. I'm gonna fix it. Just got off the phone with Andrew, just like that. Texted him up this morning, let him know what was going on, and he called me immediately. Let's get it figured out. The information is being delivered to the system. He has con. Lilla. He is confirmed. The information has made it to the system. And this is why you have to call. Because it's one thing I forgot to do. And it's hilarious. This little probe in here actually has a cover on it. It has to be moist at all times. So it's important that this one remains wet at all times in the system. So I have to go take the cover off and then I have to clean it a bit with some cleaning solution. Make sure we get a good read. Now that we're all hooked up, temporarily, everything's going to be changed and put to its finalized location soon. Um, let's see what this one looks like over here. Ta-da! We're going to see what we got. We're going to go home now. The team at Data Farms, Andrew, has sent us an email on how to access our username and password. And we're going to go and download the information we need to download if we have to. We're gonna go see our greenhouse from our so That was a temporary installation. Um, stay tuned, figure out how it works, and we'll keep you updated. Hopefully uh, it helps me and hopefully it can help you someday too. <laughs> okay, we're back over to the house now. We're not even at the greenhouse. We got our email from Andrew, and now we're going to load into our new account on Data Farms. <laughs> oh, the sign into your account. All right, new, this is it. Current temperature in the water is 12 degrees. The pH, 7.79. The EC, wow, 1600. And our new nitrogen, potassium and phosphorus levels. That's not hard to This is amazing. We've confirmed the website is working. We are getting data. I've tried it over at the house, it is working. Now the biggest thing to do is cross-reference some information from the old monitoring equipment, from the pH meter and EC meter I have to make sure that the readings are coming in somewhat similar. And move on from there and see how it goes. And this is very, very exciting. Technology, only gonna get better. And you can learn with us.